Rick Mayall died on the 9th of June, 2014. He was on all, all the front pages, I mean, all of them, uh, across the whole range of, you know, red tops to um, broadsheets, um, which I can't really think of another person in recent years that the same was quite true of. There was one wonderful thing. I think it was the front page of The Times, and Michael Gove had been saying, we must in schools inculcate British values. And next to it was a picture of Rick looking absolutely mad. And I'm sure the Times must have done that on purpose. It was a wonderful, wonderful front page. When he died, there was this extraordinary outpouring of affection that you, you know, which was in a way you just thought how many people loved him really. I think there was that big outpouring when he died because um, he never offended anyone. Every, he liked everybody. I wasn't surprised at all by the, by the national reaction to him dying. No, I wasn't surprised at all. Quite right. I think that's what he would have said, quite right too. It's really wonderful for his family and his kids, and he would have been, he would have been very pleased, I think. What's great is that his children will be able to look at what was said, and it's all true, about how very special their father was not just to them, but to the world. Rick, the student from Scumbag College, failed his degree. But 20 years later, Rick Mayo, the man, was awarded an honorary doctorate by the University of Exeter. Older, wiser, Dr. Rick Mayo knew the secret of life. Let me give you youngsters a present. Five mantras to carry with you through your lives. These are mine. Number one, all men are equal. Therefore, no one can ever be your genuine superior. Number two, your future is as bright as you make it. Number three, change is a constant of life. So you must never, ever lose your wisdom. Number four, if you want to live a full and complete human life, you have to be free. And number five, love is the answer. Love is the answer. Bon voyage! He was unique. People like Rick don't come along very often. Blimey, 56, you know. That's, that's, that's too young, yeah. It does seem impossible that that amount of energy can be extinguished, you know. It's where you find yourself, you know, wishing you were a Buddhist or something, and think, well, it must go somewhere else then. It must go into somebody else, you know. That moment somebody's been born with Rick's energy and talent, that'd be... That'd be you know, that'd be something. The last time I saw him properly, properly was at a birthday party, and he was just very funny and very charming. He wanted to work, and he was pitching ideas, you know. He wanted, <laughs> he wanted to do an interracial cop buddy movie where everybody thought we were gay. <laughs> he loved the business. He loved that everyone else was doing it. He loved the fact that, you know, it was a means of making money. It was just like he was in this sort of complete heaven where he could express himself so faultlessly and so naturally and just be very, very successful at it. It was just like every day was a joy when he woke up. It was amazing. His incredible generosity of spirit, love of his friends and endless optimism was with him all his life. And it, I miss him very, very much. Once in every lifetime comes a love like this. I need you. You need me. Oh, my darling, can't you see? Young ones. Darling, we're the young ones. The young ones shouldn't be afraid to live, love. There's a song to be sung. Because we may not be the young ones very long.
looking for trouble, you've come to the right place. If you're looking for trouble, just look right in my face. I was born standing up and talking back. My daddy was a piece of real rich track because I'm evil. My middle name is Misery. Yes, I am evil. So don't you mess around with me. I don't wipe my bottom. Policeman, and I pick my nose too. There's no stopping me. I'm bloody mad. I smoke marijuana and I don't go to lectures because I'm evil. My middle name is Jeremy. Willie to 